show you how to use Google Picasa to edit, um, you know, your, your slideshow photos. If there's like a particular, um, pixel ratio that we've already set and like a font that we want to use for the overlay and things like that. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've downloaded, uh, well, I have Google Picasa installed and then I've downloaded an image. It's a pretty large image. It's just kind of like something we'll just test with. So when the image opens, um, you'll have s several options, some, several editing options built in. Uh, we'd first want to crop the image. Um, so in this case, uh, if we select crop, um, we, we would have the ability to to go ahead and do that. And and right now this this image is like 2990 by 16, 1683 or something. So it's it's big enough to work in a slideshow. Um, you would want to use an image no smaller than like let's say a thousand pixels wide. Uh, it'd be best to use like 1500 if you can. But if we're focusing on adjusting the ratio instead of the pixel width or pixel height in this case, it's a little easier to do because we don't have to focus on, you know, matching every image to the previous image. It's just all about matching the ratio to each image, um, which just means that we, we would just basically set the, you know, like this is 16 by nine or, you know, like there's like a four by three or something like that. Um, and if, and if our slideshow was set up that way, then I would, say do that but we, we have it set up for 16 by 9 which is which is a standard video pixel ratio confused all right well whatever uh we, this this isn't that difficult um so it's a matter now of of kind of moving this around and f finding out you know where, where the best portion of your photo is um in, in this case i would want to make this probably a little bigger or whatever so um you know i i could just move this around and then when, once i get it set right then i can go ahead and hit enter and then it'll crop the image. Um, if you want to, you can add uh, more, more contrast or, or less contrast here, um, you know, to, to kind of play with that a little bit. But it looks like, you know, this, this image is okay for what we're gonna do for just for testing. Um, and then we, we would wanna use our, our text overlay. Um, and in this case, I would just, uh, huh, faders. So there's there's our overlay text, and then and then we can make this scale. You can you can adjust the scale there. You can also apparently angle it if you want to, but I would I'd just say don't angle it. Um, and then and you can kind of move that that caption where where you want it to go. So in in, the, in this place, I'll, I'll I'll just go ahead and put it right there, and then I, I would say apply. Um, as as far as the the colors on the text, you can select like your your foreground color on the text. And then there's like an outline for the text as well. So you can select an outline color. Um, in this case, I just buried that outline all the way down. And then and I'm, I'm just going to use a white text on the overlay. White-ish. I guess I'm not using white. There, sort of. And then um, then I, if, if I say apply, that, then it'll go ahead and apply that to the photo. Um, and then, then you can kind of continue with making um, adjustments to, to the image if, if you want to do that. Um, and, and, and it won't affect that overlay text because this, this text is still editable, so you can still move it around and stuff. So, all right, um, that's really all there is to it. And you just export that and use it in your slideshow.